I've won uh, in this video, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go through the course uh, from a practical point of view. How are you going to complete each of the modules uh, and what sort of assignments there are? Notice, uh, you, you will notice as we go through that there will be more in-depth instructions on each of the modules, uh, on each of the assignments as we go through. But, but this should give you an overview and an idea about what, what lies ahead for us in this, uh, this session. Okay. So the first thing I want to do then is share my screen with you. Uh, we'll share like that. And then I'm going to go to the modules. But, and, and I suggest that you uh, sort of do most of the work, uh, sort of start with the module screen. Um, you know, there'll, there'll be the syllabus you'll want to consult every now and again, probably. And, um, you know, other, other other items on the left that you might want to consult, but I definitely recommend the, the modules page for the, for the majority of the things that you're going to do. So uh, the way I have it set up is that you have to complete everything in the start here module before you move on. Um, that's basically two videos and a survey. So you've already probably watched, I hope the, uh, the course rationale video, where it gives you an overview of, of, of what to, uh, what, what, what I'm hoping that you're going to get out of this, this course, what, we, what I'm promising to you, I suppose. Uh, this is more of a practical text sort of video, sort of showing you the different modules and talking about the order and talking about what they mean and, uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, we have the start here module where you'll, you'll begin, right? You'll watch these two videos. The, the final item in that that you will have to complete before you can move on, note that it is set up so you have to complete all those items before you can move on. Um, is the affinity group assignment survey. All I'm looking for that I've put it, I've put it due tomorrow uh, by the end of the day. There's no point associated with it or anything like that, but uh, this will help me to sort you into affinity groups. Uh, the affinity groups, you'll see what that means uh, later on in this video uh, a little bit better, but, um, but note that uh, if you haven't got the affinity group assignment survey done by tomorrow at midnight, uh, then you won't have any input into which group you get put into, right? Uh, the affinity group is, is you know, the, 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 you're going to be divided based on what, what are you interested in, what sort of careers are you interested in. And so if I don't get your answers, then you might end up in a group that's not particularly interesting to you, which would be a shame, right? Because I want you to um, have that opportunity to, to have some time and some space to um, research the career field that you're interested in a little bit more. Okay, so. Uh, that's that. You'll see that uh, we're basically we're, we're split into, I think, uh, seven weeks. Um, yep, we're split into seven weeks. So this is going to be week six down here. See, I'm updating it as we speak. Look at that live. Uh, this is going to be week seven. So we're split into weeks, seven weeks. Uh, and each week corresponds basically to one assignment. All right, and so you'll just move through the weeks in order doing the assignments. I, I would say certainly for today, um, I think it'd be hard to complete all the assignments in one day, but probably if you devoted the whole 24 hours to it and you worked hard, you, that wouldn't be impossible, perhaps. Um, but, um, um, but I recommend that you, you, know, you stick to the early weeks. Uh, you will notice when you complete all of the start here modules that the rest of the modules will become available. Um, but I, especially for like this first week, I, I suggest that you just stick to, to week one uh, because if you, you because um, I, I'm still implementing the course online, right? I've got it all uh, for the on, on on campus people, but I'm, I'm I'm having to make some adjustments for the for the online, and so uh, that's happening now. That's certainly by the end of this week, possibly by the end of the day, right? But certainly by the end of this week, we'll be all up and running. But uh, but just know that there'll, there'll, there'll probably be well, let, let me talk about it. So, so you see the first week we'll have carb stories. I, I, I have already the carb story assignment video put together. It's the one that I, I, I recorded, especially for this course actually in the studio, uh, but I used the presentation that I gave to my own on ground campus uh, students. And so uh, in class, in class students. So you'll, you'll see me delivering that in the studio. That will give you an idea of you know, what's a carb story, right? Uh, and why should you care? Uh, and, and, and what am I looking for you in this carb story star presentation? 
Um, uh, and, and so you'll see. What I am looking for, by the way, uh, is, is a video for that. And, and you'll upload those here by October the 18th, uh, which is Sunday, right? So that's the first week. What I'll also do, and I might actually do it now, right, is just move some of these links, right? And these links are examples of carb stories, right? Uh, that I got from my ground students, uh, in-person students this semester. And so I'm, I'm putting a few of them up. You'll see, um, you know, that they're all, um, they're all, they're all good. Right? I didn't find any bad ones here. Um, but you, some will, some will be more, uh, some will say more to you than others, right? Uh, depending partly on personality and what you're interested in, right? Uh, so I'll put a few of those stories in there. So, so basically, um, You'll see those links there are examples, right? Don't, um, you know, don't, don't review them or anything. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I'm just gonna move these all up here now so you've got the examples. And maybe after the video, maybe I'll put like, I'll type example next to them all so you get the idea. All right, so you'll have quite a lot of examples there. Right? I think all of my, Almost all the ground students will be represented in that. So good. Uh, and you'll hand in your own by by the end of the, the week. Then we'll move on to week two. Now, right now, you'll see in week two, week two will be the Tableau visualization presentation. I talk about Tableau and why I think it's a good idea uh, for us to do Tableau. I talk about that in our course rationale video. Uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more uh, when I make this uh, sort of the, the tutorial video. Right now, you'll see. Tableau two and three, they are from the uh, instructions that I gave uh, to my in-person students this semester. Uh, you'll see though, like the Tableau two, the, that part of the class doesn't really start till the 17th minute. Uh, Tableau three, the whole thing is, is pretty useful. Uh, but I think from Tableau three, the beginnings cut off a little bit. So these are, these are Zoom recordings that I'm not super happy with them. Uh, I'm gonna leave them there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do one whole video where I show you from the beginning to end. Uh, and then that two and three will be uh, sort of a, an alternative review for you. So note that if you start working on week two now, um, you, you know, you'll have some information about Tableau, but unless you already have the very basics, sorry, from Tableau one uh, video, unless you have already the very basics down, or you're somebody that just likes to learn on your own and just figure it out yourself, uh, then, then you're not gonna be best placed right now today to do. Uh, week two, but but certainly by um, by probably by tomorrow, but probably by by next week certainly uh, you'll be uh, you'll be ready to go on on Tableau. So that's that'll be week two, uh, and and there'll be and I haven't put it in there yet, but there will be. Let me see if it's already in, in assignments. It should be, I think. Um, one thing, like if you're looking at this today, note the dates might not be depending on what time of the day you're looking at it. It, it might not be uh, ready in terms of dates yet. But, um, but I don't think we're too far away. Let me add here an assignment. Tableau visualization presentation. Okay, there we go. Uh, so you'll be doing a presentation for that too, which will also be a video, and you'll be sharing your screen and that sort of thing uh, to show us your, your charts and your graphs on that. So that's week two. Week three is the carb stories. Again, we're gonna go back to them. These really are, I think, an important element of the course. Uh, and so we'll go back and you'll, what you'll see in here in week three, and you won't be able to see this until the end of this week, right, when I get all of the carb stories in, but you'll see a, a selection here of um, carb stories from your class, from, from, from your classmates, they'll be in this, in this module, and then you'll review, uh, I think, I might adjust this right before week three, but right now it's, I think, nine nine of them you would you would review so when i said don't review the ones uh, in in car in in week one you know that's what i mean don't review those i will put up as i said videos from people from your class so you won't be reviewing people from the on the in-person class you'll be review, reviewing people from your class uh, and you'll you'll just just choose nine reviews and, and, and sorry nine videos nine stories and you'll watch those and and review them you know, the idea behind this, of course, is to like, you know, you're going to do one, so, so that's good, but you also get the chance to see other people's and, and, and that'll help you to refine your own, um, 
you know. Week four will be the Fulbright and Boron application. I think this video right now is empty, maybe. I did do it already in class, but I, I think when I looked at it, I wasn't super excited about it because I think I did it over a couple of different classes. So it's kind of broken in with, with other things. So I'll make another video for that. So that won't take too long. And, and really, it will just be my instructions of, I'll, I'll just really be pointing you to the Boron and the Fulbright websites really and explaining which parts of it are going to be uh, required for our assignment uh, that we'll hand in. Again, the idea of that is to give you experience in, in applying for, for grants, for money to do things that you want to do. Uh, this is great for graduate school, absolutely. Uh, but it's also, you know, there's a good chance that you're going to work in a field where, where grants, uh, applying for external funding is, is an important aspect. And so, so this will uh, give you some practice at that, right? Uh, also, I should say, uh, I'll probably go into more of this in the when I actually make the video for the Fulbright Boron application week. But um, you know, students from my classes have to have done this assignment and turned this assignment into an actual application for a Boron, uh, and have come close to getting one. Right? It's been been an alternative, and and that student got a different uh, a Gilman grant. So. Um, you know, you can really turn these into applications that will, will really uh, get you money to, for, for studying abroad, for pursuing, um, you know, pursuing training and, and, and graduate school beyond. Uh, week five, we're going to do the affinity group field infographic, right? And so I've given you a few weeks um, to work on that with your affinity group. I would like you, once we've done the affinity group assignment survey up here, uh, and, and you've been placed into your groups, and I will place you based on, on the answers that you give us in this uh, assignment survey, uh, the affinity group assignment survey. Uh, and, and so I'll give you a chance to, to contact those, to reach out to those people and start working on uh, this affinity group field infographic. Um, so it'll be a, just a one page, and I'll obviously go into more details uh, in the actual week itself, but you'll, you'll see that, um, you know, it'll be basically like a PDF or, or, a, or one PowerPoint slide that you just hand in. With the affinity group, so you'll see that there's this infographic in week five, in week seven, it's your presentation, right? Where you'll go into much more detail uh, and expand on some of the things that you've got in your infographic. You'll, there's also an interview required, so start thinking about that now uh, with your affinity group. Who can I find that's working in that field or in a related field that I can interview and, and find out more about that? Um, so that, that'll be uh, important. So, but once you get in your groups, you can decide how to break up the work, right? So there's the infographic, there's the presentation. As part of the presentation, you've got to introduce some, some interview, uh, some interview uh, information you've ga gathered from your interview. And so you can decide how to break up that work. If one of you wants to do the presentation themselves, uh, you know, the other uh, two of you are uh, uh, tracking down the interviewer and coming up with interview questions. Uh, and, the, uh, and a fourth one is working on the infographic, right? That's fine. If all five of you want to do it all, everything all together, that's also fine. So that's up to you how you work. That will be one grade per group for the infographic, one grade per group for the presentation. And um, right, so, so uh, figure out how to work on that uh, together and how to break up that work. Um, so that's the infographic and then the, so, so you've got a few weeks to be kind of in contact with your groups, working with your groups on research for the infographic for the presentation and for the interview that will be part of the presentation. So, um, so that'll be that. Uh, and then, so that's week five and seven. Week six will be the resume cover letter assignment. So I'm, 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 you see, I've already got the link here to the resume workshop that Jenna Figaro did in, in person, right, in, in our in-person class. But, but she did it over Zoom anyway. Um, so you'll see that recording. And I'll grade this assignment based on how closely you follow the instructions given by Jennifer Figaro. Jennifer Figaro, remember, she works for our career and professional development services uh, that has a, a history and a, a treasure trove, really, of, of, of speaking to employers and, and getting information about what they want to see in their resume. So this is the best advice you can get, right? It's not for me, I'm a political science. Um, instructor, right? I have a PhD in political science. I can tell you lots of things about international relations and political theory, right? And, and, I, and I do in other classes, but, um, you know, when it comes to resume, Jenna, right? Jenna, she's the, she's the, um, the, the keeper of the knowledge right now. And so I'll follow her, her lead on that. And, and you should too, when you, when you're uh, creating these resumes and cover letters uh, for that week six assignment. All right. 
you'll see here right now, I've only got this one guest speaker. I actually have two others recorded that are not put into Canvas yet, but I'll do that very soon. And what I'll do is I'll distribute these guest speakers around the uh, the different weeks, maybe not one, maybe not week one or two, but maybe the, the later weeks, I'll distribute these guest speakers. Uh, we'll have more coming in during the course of the of our time together. So I'll, I'll distribute those into later weeks and, and what and you'll have an assignment to um, to write a review of those uh, of those guest speakers. Uh, and the review of the guest speakers will be just a you know one page maximum double spaced and it'll just be like briefly hey what did you hear them say what was uh, what did you hear them say? And then importantly, at the end, a, uh, a uh, yeah. and so now what am I going to do, right? What am I going to do that's going to forward my, my uh, career and professional development because I've listened to this? So either maybe I'm going to update my resume, maybe I'm going to get in touch with that person and ask a question, right, that I had that I, that I would, didn't manage to ask, right, because it's not live for us in the online class, it's not live. Uh, so, so, but, but, but they, they're going to leave their email address, so maybe the follow-up is I'm going to drop an email and say thank you, right? I'm going to drop an email and introduce myself. I'm going to drop an email, introduce myself and ask a question. Right? Uh, that could be one action that you might take. Um, you know, another action might be, hey, I'm going to reset, you know, that, that speaker, she mentioned uh, this career field. She mentioned, oh, she mentioned, um, you know, events planning. Hey, that's something that I never thought of before, but maybe that's quite interesting. I'm going to spend you know 30 minutes looking at jobs from that career field right you know something like that some concrete action that you're going to take that's going to help you to understand better uh, the options that are open to you and the types of or to make yourself more qualified right i'm going to do an extra 10 minutes on tableau or something like that I don't know. Uh, right but something that, that you've been uh, prompted to do or, or, or inspired to do by listening to um listening to the guest speaker so so the, and, and like i said they'll be spread out through the weeks uh, and there'll be somewhere maybe at the bottom here where it says guest speakers there'll be somewhere here to hand in your um your review of that guest speaker right um so i want to just show you the the syllabus right now and sort of finish up here you'll see my contact details are on there i've got my email if you want to if you have any questions certainly email me that's the best way to get hold of me in this course uh email me monday to thursday you could you should expect a response in 24 hours if you're emailing me on friday evening uh it's likely to be monday morning or, or monday generally right before you get a response uh to that like i'm not oftentimes checking my emails during the weekend uh, i say that because in one class like a year or so ago a student uh, emailed me on Friday night, like at, at, it was maybe like 10 or 11 o'clock on Friday night, I was probably in bed, uh, such, is the, uh, such is the exciting life, the life that I lead. That I lead. Uh, so emails me at 11 o'clock on Friday night, and then, and then uh, Saturday afternoon, he went, hey, I still haven't got a response, you know, this is important, and then Sunday afternoon. So by the time I come on Monday, I've got three or four emails uh, from the student, but, but sorry, sorry. A warning like i'm not likely to answer the emails uh, during the weekend uh, even after friday afternoon like if it's you know two or three or four o'clock on a friday uh, it's likely that i've checked my email for the last time i check my email once or twice a day so so that's why i could miss you right uh, but 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 by the next day right if it's a tuesday right and you've emailed me at, at four and i don't check my email again then you should you should see a response from wednesday right so just just to sort of set your expectations there uh the other thing we relating to that is if I get a lot of emails over the weekend, right, over a period of time where I haven't checked, perhaps a holiday, right, Veterans Day is coming up, or Thanksgiving, and if I come back and I've got a lot of emails, it might be right that I've got, like, I mean, I could have 100 emails, that's, that's entirely possible, and uh, not all of them will be from students, and so I'll work through them uh, probably relatively quickly, but um, lots of them might be from students, and so, uh, the way that my inbox organizes, the way that Google or Gmail organizes the, the mailbox is if, if you send me an email, like let's say you send me an email on Friday afternoon, and then you, um, so, so now you're like, let's say you're the first person, like right? Friday afternoon, you're, you're at the top of my list, right? Um, since it, so now other people might be sending me emails and you'll be moving down the list, down, down the list, down the list. Now I start though at the bottom, right? I start with the, the, the email that I received the later, the, 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 the earliest, I should say, right? Uh, but it's the bottom of the list, right? Because it works its way down. The thing is, if you now send me an email, let's say I've got, so, so you're up here 
on Friday, right? Uh, and you start to move down Saturday. You, so let's say Saturday, you, you're now here. Okay. So now you're like, oh, I didn't get a response. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email again. So you email again on the same thread and say, hey, I haven't heard from you. I really need an answer. Um, boom, I'm, now you're back up at the top now. Okay, and then Sunday is gonna come and I'm gonna get some more emails, gonna move down. And then maybe Monday morning, I'm gonna get a bunch of emails. Oh, maybe Monday morning you do it again. Boom, now you're at the top again. And so now where you would have been the first email I answered because I'm gonna start at the, at the earliest receive. Now you're at the top and that, that's once or twice. I only mentioned it was once or twice in, in my, um, in my five years of teaching, I've had it where students have, you know, got themselves at the top of the list, right? And I'm starting at the bottom. And really, when I get to them, I realize that there's seventy four emails since, like, what Google puts it where it puts it, right? So, um, yeah. So, so bear that in mind when you when you do give me twenty four hours. You know, if it's gone forty eight hours and I haven't answered you, and it's not the weekend, then uh, you know maybe it is worth because maybe it's got lost somewhere. Because usually within forty eight hours, I will have answered all my for sure, but, but usually in 24 hours, I'll have answered all. So that's a, quite a long explanation about my emails, but uh, but it is important that, you con that you're able to contact me. I do welcome your contact. I, I, I think students that are contacting me uh, usually are doing better in the, in the course, even when they're worrying about not doing well, right? Because uh, that's, I think, part of the, part of the way that um, students do well. Anyway, uh, you'll see here this Carb Star Stories presentation. I have the video, but here are, are is other information that you will need, right? Because you're, you're choosing one of the three, uh, three of the following five questions. And so the questions that enable you to do the presentation are in the syllabus that are all in here. Um, and, and so that's, that's that. The one thing that will be different from you, no, 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 no. I, I think I'll keep this very, very close to being the same. So when you do the, the your peer reviews for these, which will be in week three, remember, uh, you'll have you'll you'll have to do nine, and I'll grade you um, according to the way that I've set it up for the in-person students as well. Tableau visualization presentation, not tons of information on there, right? But it tells you it's a ten-minute maximum, so that's that's useful. Uh, affinity groups career field presentation, right? You'll see the questions that I'm looking for you to answer. What are the different roles in this field? Describe at least five. What might a career progression through time look like? You can answer these questions either in the infographic or in the presentation or both, okay? Uh, and the answer might look different in the infographic than what it looks like in the presentation, right? That's, that, that's normal. Um, <clears throat> the last question, well, yeah, the last question is, hey, any other important questions you can think of? So that's, <coughs> that allows you quite a lot of scope then to go out and, and find answers to questions that I haven't asked here. But I, I want to get you started, so I've given you some, some questions to get you started and then take it uh, in different ways. Uh, Fulbright Boring Application Assignment, uh, and it gives you, the, the good thing about the syllabus here is the Fulbright option and the Boring option, and you'll see that you'll choose one of the two. You won't do both, you'll do one. Uh, but it shows you, you can actually find a lot of the information that you need in the syllabus. So Fulbright option, that gives you a link as well to the Fulbright website that will uh, explain what we're looking for, uh, and then same with the boring option. Resume, cover letter assignment, and then the LinkedIn assignment. Ha, that's the only one that I don't really have a week for because, but, I, but, but well, I'm the guest speaker's attendance notes. I also don't have a specific dedicated week. I've talked already about the guest speaker attendance notes. That'll be, you know, that, those will be spread over, over weeks. Uh, and the LinkedIn, that'll be just due at the end of the semester, so you can work on it whenever you want. I want you to have an all-star LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn profile uh, that you'll then take a screenshot and show me. But I'll make a, I won't make it a week, but I'll make a module at the bottom, I think, for, for LinkedIn, and it'll just basically be there to, to hold the assignment uh, submission link, and so, uh, you can go in there and just upload your screenshot. And then we go and you'll have details in here about the final course grade. I've, in the past, I've done pluses and minuses. I think I've switched away from pluses and minuses. I talked actually, we, we, we have a new uh, director in the school and I, I talked to her about, uh, about how she grades and she doesn't do pluses and minuses, which is an option, I guess. And um, 
you know, and it kind of it makes it a little bit clearer where you are, what you're doing, right? What's the difference between like a B plus and a, an A minus? You know, the, the gradations between them get very, very close together, I think. And so this is, this is anyway, you, only, you can only get A, B, C, D, or E in this class. Let me talk about that a little bit. If you do everything, like the way that I've set this class up, right, is for you to do a lot of the activities, right? And for you to do some assignments that I think will improve your standing and your position as you go out and find a career or, or, or as you seek professional development, as you seek further education, this will stand you in good stead. If you do these things, you will be in a better position, I promise, uh, than you are, are at the moment. And so basically, like if you do them and you do them according to the instructions and you do a, like a reasonable job, by a reasonable job, I mean, I look at it and I say, yeah, that's, that's what I asked them to do and they, and they did it. Then the likelihood is you will get an A for this class, right? This is not, this shouldn't be, shouldn't be hard, hard to do. The only reason why you, you might not get an A, right, is if you are not doing parts of the course or you're, you're doing them in a very strange way, right? Um, that, 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 that really just doesn't show, that really just, just goes against the instructions that I'm given, right? If you do them in a way where you're not doing them, right? So it's really you're just not doing, them. you're either not handing anything in or you're handing in something in that's really not what I was asking for, right? So if there is anything that you're unclear about what I'm asking for, definitely feel free to, to, uh, to, to, to check in with me. Um, but again, like it's, 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 not everybody will get an A, I know that from experience, but, but it's entirely possible for everybody to get an A. Um, okay, and then you, you see some policies there, if there's any uh, dis accommodating students with disabilities, oftentimes accommodating students with disabilities ends up with a sort of longer time for tests and exams and that sort of thing. Uh, we're not doing any exams, right? There's no time tests in, in this, so there might not be a lot of accommodation, but again, um, absolutely, I, I'm committed to, to fully, um, fully supporting any, any accommodations that the, 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 the Disability Resource Centre has uh, agreed with you. Uh, so, so let me know if, if, if you think that there'll be a, uh, an issue with that. A policy against certain behaviour, I don't think I've had any issues with that, but, uh, I, but I do know people that have. Um, I taught at another university earlier on in my career, and uh, I had a colleague there who had a, an armed policeman in his class at all times because of threats that he received. But, but there's a policy there, um, uh, um, Title IX, you know, re read these policies, uh, the, the sort of policies that everybody has to have in every syllabus, so, uh, but do make sure you, you're aware of them. At the bottom here, at the moment, I have this schedule. Uh, you'll, but you'll see immediately that the schedule is talking about September and August, right? And so it's obviously not your schedule. Um, maybe I'll just delete it. Uh, I'm not sure if it really holds any value for you guys. Uh, and so pro probably I'll get rid of it. And at the bottom, right, you'll see this course summary with due dates. Uh, as you can see, not everything has a due date right now. Um, but some things do, and those ones might, may or may not change. But if, but, but certainly by the end of today, right, which is which is Monday, the twelfth of October, the day one of class, uh, by the end of today they'll be all uh, all proper dates. Uh, but if you if you looked at that, like you know, if you looked at this bottom part yesterday or, or, or early on today, then, then you'll you know you'll notice that there's some things that are not quite uh, ready yet. All right, well that's my overview. Um, um, uh, as I said, the thing to watch out for is every week there'll be a new assignment and I will explain that assignment in more detail and I'll give you some background on, on why we're doing it and, uh, a little bit. Um, but, but as I said, right now, Carb Stories, absolutely ready to go, get working on that, uh, get ready, working on those presentations and, and again, ask any questions that you'd like via email. Um, I look forward to seeing your work. <laughs>